Hello, hello, hello to all of my fantastic Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy winter solstice. Today is the first day of winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Yes, happy winter solstice. Also, today is the Jupiter-Saturn Great Conjunction. Yes, yes, yes. We know that Jupiter is the largest planet and it governs expansion, what brings you joy. It governs your gratitude, honor, wisdom, and tolerance. Yes, that is Sagittarius's ruling planet. We also know that Saturn is the planet of discipline, responsibility, restriction, and limitations. That is Capricorn's ruling planet, but it affects every single one of us. Yes, it does. It affects all of us. Matter of fact, the Great Conjunction represents a time, <clears throat> excuse me, for you to release old habits in order to make way for new things. It's kind of like spring cleaning, like releasing, you know, um, you know, old habits, old ways of doing things, not being afraid of just opening that door for new things, right? That's what it represents. And so if you're a person who is, um, who, uh, uh, change is difficult for you, it's going to be, it's going to be able to feel very, very uncomfortable. But if you're a person who is open to changing some things, which I suggest that everybody is, do, does, is to be open to change. Just let the universe do what the universe does, which is bless you all the way around. It, it will keep you completely in balance, right? Yeah, there will be nothing missing. There won't be anything lacking. You all are very health conscious people. You all are very conscientious in every area of your lives. There's so much that you offer to this universe, Virgo. I want you all to start really living your best lives. You all are magnets. People are really drawn to you, right? There's really nothing for you to fear. People are drawn to you. So now it's time to step back and look at people through your spiritual eyes. Take a real hard look at people with your spiritual eyes right and to see who you will allow to get closer and who needs to stay over there on the other side of the room not everybody needs to have full access to you virgo that's what you all have to understand that's going to make your life so 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 much better you doing the things that you love to do in the workplace if you're dealing with people who are um who are difficult keep them at bay they don't need to have full access to you all they deserve is a hello and goodbye. If there are people um, um, in your family who are just determined to project a particular image onto you that is not very um, high vibrational, again, hello and goodbye. That's it. You don't owe them anything else. You don't need to consult somebody about closure as to why you don't call them anymore, why you don't talk to them anymore. You don't need to do any of that. It's all on you. It's all on you, Virgo. Let's get into your reading. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Virgos as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, spirituality and where they need to take action. And also, yes, we had a card to pop out. We're going to leave that card right there. I also have Oracle cards too. Um, what did I say? Power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and uh and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Virgos? Yes, this conjunction. Oh my goodness. Special, special, special. I specifically waited for today because I wanted to talk about the number zero and here's why. So here's the definition of conjunction, right? Conjunction is a major aspect, the most powerful in astrology in which two or more planets occupy the same degree or at least within 10 degrees of each other in a horoscope. So Jupiter conjuncts Saturn today within one degree of Aquarius. Within one degree is not one. It's actually closer to zero in this case. So we're going to go with the number zero today. That's why I want to talk about the number zero. So knowing that this day was coming for me was so exciting. <laughs> no, you're like, oh my gosh. Who gets excited over this kind of stuff? I do. Yes, I absolutely get excited over numbers. So yes, let's um let's pull these cards. I don't know what this card said. Oh, look at this. This is the victory card. Look at this. Victory card. Yes. Six of Wands. Yep. Let's put this right here. See what the rest of these cards have to say. I see victory. Oh, look at this. I see legacy. I see a lot of money in your cards. I see legacy wealth. I see a lot of money. So let's let's pick up these cards, Virgo. Look at this. 
which I'm not surprised because you all are money magnets, right? I see the Knight of Pentacles, you all working very, very hard. Um, not looking necessarily looking back at your past, right? Anything that bothered you in the past, you are focused on your money. Because again, the Virgo's goal is not to just make money for the Virgo, it's to, to help mankind, better mankind, right? It's for a purpose. Yeah, I see legacy wealth. So get ready for some of y'all names to be on some things, whether it's on your own website, whether people are mentioning or calling out your name or whatever the case may be. But here we go. Again, more money, manifesting a lot of money, manifesting big coins. Yes, I love it, Virgo. Love it, love it, love it. So just get ready. Get ready, get ready to be victorious. Like I said, you all are very magnetic. People are drawn to you. It doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman. This right here is Earth Mother. A lot of you all have no problem taking care of people. Some of you all are nurses. Some of you all are doctors. Some of you all are therapists. Whatever it is, you're in a in a field of taking care of people, and that's where you're one of your sources of income, not just your main source, but you're one of your sources of income. Some of you all um, have your own businesses, but it's taking care of whether it's taking care of animals, taking care of people, taking care of things, whatever it is, you all are mirth, mother earth energy. And that's where your money is. That's where one of your sources of income is. So like I said, get ready. You can't help what the universe is doing, right? Um, a lot of people did not know we were going to have this major conjunction, but here it is, this great conjunction. A lot of people wasn't, they didn't even, they weren't even aware of it. All you, some of people, all, some people knew is that they were having a lot of dreams. A lot of things were happening and they were like, I wonder why all of this stuff is happening right now. Yep. In preparation for today. Yep. In preparation for today. So yes, like I said, just continue, um, keeping people at bay until you get a chance to see exactly who they are. Your yeses are yes, your noes are noes. Yes, indeed. Your yeses are yes. Look at this right here. I want y'all to get a good look at this this um this uh one right here. This is the king of swords. This person is no nonsense. They are very cerebral. They have a lot of mental strength. Their yeses are yes, their noes are noes. They're very direct. This is your divine masculine energy. Virgo, you're a person who is no nonsense. You're not playing around with people. And this is how you become victorious. Not everybody needs to have access to you, Virgo. I'm trying to help you. Not everybody needs to have access just because a person wants to be in your company because there's too much money at stake. You got to figure out who, and when I say figure out, I'm talking about through your divine masculine energy. You got to let your divine masculine inner tell, energy tell you who belongs in your space and who doesn't belong in your space. Because there will be people trying to get things from you, right? They're simply in your space trying to get as much money from you as possible. They, they know that you work hard. Look, see the man with the horse? They know that you work hard. You have a lot of money. And that's what they're trying to get to. They're trying to get to your legacy wealth. That is what they're trying to get to. Be smart about it. Be smart about it. Your yeses are your yes. Your no's are your no's. Mm-hmm. Your yeses are your yeses and your no's are no's. No and, ifs, or buts. It's a brand new day. There are going to be some people who are going to be real uncomfortable with this change in you. They're going to say, hold on, this person, they, they seem to say yes. So they sometimes would just kind of, a lot of times people think that Virgos kind of sort of avoid things. Like you all are afraid to stand up to people. And this is not even about you even interacting with somebody with a bullying spirit, Virgo. This is you just saying no. Just, you know, mm -mm. nope. I helped you in the past and, you know, I didn't get a thank you from you. I didn't get any, any sort of recognition, no acknowledgement, no nothing. It at the bare minimum to say thank you. Yes. You got to, people have got to recognize, um, what every single sign brings to the table. And I'll say the table of life, the table in this realm. Yeah. Cause some people will never say thank you. They think you're supposed to do it. Like, uh, yeah, right. Okay, here we go. Some of you all have dealt with some fire signs who had a lot of internal issues. I'm talking about the Leos, the Aries, the Sagittarius, but I'm talking about low vibrating fire signs because a high vibrating fire sign would not bring this kind of confusion. Some of you all, I'm telling you, this Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries that was vibrating low had a whole lot to do with affecting your money in the past, but they're about to find out 
Yeah, the universe just flipped the script. The flip the script. Yes. Uh-huh. You all are they're not dealing with the person they used to deal with in the past. Again, you have the king and queen of swords. You are really not playing around this go around, Virgo. Not at all. You're putting people in their place. You're cutting people off a whole lot sooner. A lot of you all are father figures, whether you're a single parent. This is the um this is the emperor, which is the Aries, right? So this is a person who's a father figure, someone who is very powerful, someone who is very ambitious. You all are not playing around. Like, like I said, you have fully tapped into your divine masculine energy. And look at you, having a childlike exuberance, loving life right about now, really, really loving life. And that's how it should always supposed to be, where your, your energies are balanced out, Virgo. You don't have time to waste on people who have a lot of internal conflict and a bunch of drama. So the things that you may have been going through, this is where you are right now. You went through a long, arduous path dealing with people with their internal issues. Now that you're free of that, it's time to just make all kinds of money. Yes, people can say what they want to say about money, but I tell you one thing, money changes lives for the better. Again, remember we talked about the God number, right? Putting those zeros behind that, those, that God number, yeah which I'm going to talk about again when we talk about the number zero, right? So listen, the Ace of Wands, some clear messages are coming through your uh, your your crown chakra. I mean, your um, brow chakra. See, this is the brow chakra in between the eyebrows. Some clear information is being downloaded into your spirit. Like I said, it's a whole different Virgo in town. Y'all not playing around. Listen, the number zero, before we get into this... Um, this uh, like, let me tell you something, your power, your power or your identity are back. You have gotten rid of all the negative energy in your life. And some of you all are still getting rid of some of the negative energy. But I'm telling you, these, this, these planetary alignments in this conjunction that happened is like literally hitting the reset button. There's some people who are not going to be prepared for what they come in contact with moving forward. Okay, Virgos, just so you know. No more timidity at all. You all are just like, no, I'm not timid anymore. I'm not scared. No, nothing. I got work to do. There are people out here that appreciate me, people who will say thank you, people who will treat me right. I don't have time for the low vibration energy anymore. Yes, the number zero, right? So the number zero actually hovers between worlds, between numbers of positive value and numbers of negative value, between the seen and unseen. It is therefore the number that represents a very unique power. I'm talking about the number zero. In fact, if you add zero to any number, it expands and it empowers that number. So look at it this way, Virgo. Look at all these money cards right here. All these money cards right here. You got four cards right here, the number four. If you add a certain number of zeros behind it, it could be either 40, it could be 400, it could be 4,000, it could be 4 million, it could be $4 trillion, okay? We're talking about legacy wealth, wealth that is going to help your kids, grandkids, and kids that you'll never meet in this realm, and they'll be, they'll be living off of the wealth that you created in this realm. This is what I'm talking about. The number zero expands and empowers any number, whether it's the number one, it turns it to 10, 100, 1,000, you know what I'm saying? 10,000, so on and so forth. The number seven, whatever number, it expands and it empowers that number. That's how powerful the number zero is. That's why I wanted to wait to the day because when I tell you that it's been a complete reset, yes, when I tell you the number zero represents the God number, it actually symbolizes the greatest power in multidimensional reality, the supreme balance between light and dark. Zero is the full circle number. It represents the universes, the galaxies, the multiverses, all there is, all there was, all there will be. That's what zero represents. Okay, let's pull an oracle. Let's pull an oracle card and see what the oracle cards have to say. Yeah, zero is no joke. That's when you know you are a God. That's when you know you are responsible for every good thing or every bad thing that happens to you. Yes, supreme. Yes, the God number. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's when you know that you are a God. When you know that people have wronged you, you're like, you know what? I don't have to do a thing. I know I'm a God that I'll let the universe handle it. When people have done good for you, you don't have to do a thing except say thank you because you know the universe is going to repay them. 
Yes. When you've done good for people, you know the universe is going to repay you. Yes. Prayer. Here we go. Petitioning the Supreme Court. Guess who the Supreme Court is? You, Virgo. You are the Supreme Court. Everything on all sides are balanced. See, here we go with the number four. Everything on all sides are balanced. Imagine a table with only three legs, how it would wobble. Your table has all four legs and it is very balanced out. Yes, you are very stable and very balanced out. I'm telling you, this is prayer. Takes prayer. Yeah. Put those, set those intentions out in the universe. Like I said, like I always say in my videos, I know you all are having a great day because that's the intention you set, right? Continue setting those intentions out in the universe. Start saying, hey, I am creating legacy wealth. I am wealthy. I am strong. I am happy. I am, I am light. Whatever you are, I am a God. Yes, that's what you start saying and all the other I am identities that's attached to you, right? You are none of the things that people have tried to project onto you, Virgo. You are all of the things that you say, the intentions you set within yourself and this putting it out in the universe. You don't have to look outside of yourself for anything or anybody. You have it within you. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Prayer, petitioning the Supreme Court within you, the God in you. I love it, Virgo. This is a fantastic spread for you. Yeah, people who got you messed up and twisted in the past, these people right here, this these low vibrating either Leos, Aries, or Sagittarius that got you twisted in the past are going to regret it. I'm telling you, they will be looking back saying, wow, I should have known the jewel or the gem that I had in the Virgo. Oh, well, yeah, but by that time it won't even matter because they can't touch you. They can't touch you, Virgo. They can't touch you. Look at them trying to reach you burning themselves they're the one that burned the bridge and those are the ones that's going to be like wow just wow they're going to they're going to be the one that's praying they're going to be praying that they can get back into your space into your good graces again and you're not bitter you're not angry or frustrated with them at all you just know what you know and you continue ascending i mean upward and onward making all kinds of money making all kinds of moves doing all kinds of things but that's what i have for you Virgos, have a great one. Bye.